rugged cliffs, scorching deserts, and the nigh unbreakable kinship of the local tribes. A conqueror's nightmare. A land of many names, Maluha, Gedrosia, Balakistan, this region is best known by its ominous epithet, the Graveyard of Empires, a view that was virtually unchallenged for decades even in academia. See for example Hansman 1924 for an early example, until Singh 2009 proposed a new epithet, the Cradle of Empires. Whichever view one might take, it can hardly be argued that it was here in this unforgiving land that the Mauryan Empire achieved the transition from the hegemon of the Indian subcontinent to the prepotent empire of its time. After the conquest of Hattusa in the 25th century BCE and the consequent downfall of the Hittite culture who were, as is now broadly accepted among scholars, subsequently absorbed into Gothic tribal society, the Mauryan Empire emerged as the supreme power in all of southern Asia. Not even the might of the Han Persians was able to challenge the efficient Mauryan armies, combining the standing army of the empire with the use of local mercenaries to defend the imperial border, now stretching from the white peaks of the Caucasus in the west to the humid forests of Burma in the east. But no culture leaves the great stage without traces. The Hittite tradition of codifying and writing down their laws was quickly adopted by the Mauryans and lived on through them. The resulting wealth of Mauryan legal scripture enables modern historians and archaeologists to piece together a clearer picture of life in the Mauryan Empire than would have ever been possible without this Hittite tradition, or as Singh put it so eloquently, not through the conquest itself, but through carrying on the torch of the conquered did the conquerors immortalize themselves. Noradrenaline in Essays on the History of the Indian Subcontinent Hey everybody, it's Party Elite! Welcome you back to our Humankind Forging India miniseries. As always, I am thoroughly excited to continue our tale of glory here as we have pushed back the Hittites and have now turned our attention to the Achaemenid Persians. Much to our surprise and to the surprise of some of you in the comments as well, the Celts, once the Babylonians, have decided to double down on their holdings in the subcontinent. They've actually pushed down and taken Sri Lanka and that is, uh, you know, I'm not a fan of it, let me put it that way. We will most certainly be punishing them not just for this insolence, but also for the border skirmishes from a couple of sessions ago. That uh, has not been forgotten, of course, and we'll definitely be turning our attention to them. But first, of course, we have to deal with these Achaemenid Persians who, just as a quick reminder, we intend to potentially, hopefully, vassalize while also taking back the Himalayas over here. Aldanab was stolen from us, the... Uh, Great Mount Everest was stolen from us, so we will be having that back, thank you very much. And if things work out, we'll also be vassalizing the Achaemenid Persians. But uh, there's not much more to talk about. I just want to say very quickly that uh, if you've been enjoying this series, folks, again, and as always, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It does make a very big difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, how I go about doing it, you know, what kind of schedules I work with. Those of you that are familiar with the channel, y'all know the drill by now. Those of you that are new to the channel, well, hopefully you kind of understand where I'm coming from. I love looking at feedback in the comments. I do read all of the comments as well. So if you have any opinions to share, any thoughts or any uh, feedback or anything like that, any way I can make this more entertaining, uh, go ahead and let me know. One thing I will point out is that these last couple of uh, episodes have been a little bit on the slower side, on which note we'll upgrade these runners to horsemen, I think. Uh, and I think the, the, the pacing is the result of uh, battles. You know, battles really slow down the turn count, obviously, the, the, the rate of, of turns being completed, naturally. Uh, but as we finish the accumulated Persians off, I feel like that will be a thing of the past. So why don't we go ahead and make our move uh, down to here, sure. I would like to heal up a little bit. I, I think I can probably afford to just pay for it, to be perfectly honest. 61 gold is not all that much. Why don't we wait until next turn? We'll get right to the border and then we'll pay for it. Um, no rush, and, and that way it'll be a bit cheaper and we'll have a bit more money in the bank as well. Over here, meanwhile, these uh, archers, oh yeah, that's what we want to save money for, right? Of course, we have unlocked the Samnaya. I would like to have some of these uh, war elephants <laughs> on the field, right? Like an iconic unit, uh, and in fact, yes, our unique unit as well. So I would like to have these guys on the field, though it'll take some time before we can afford these upgrades. 360 gold apiece, two of them. I mean, that's going to take a long time before we can get them. We might not be able to use them against the Achaemenid Persians only because they are, uh, you know, I, I don't want to slow the war down just to get a couple of war elephants out. We'll have plenty of chances, I think, to use them against the uh, Celts instead, I suppose. Though we do need to, more quickly than I'd initially thought, maybe change our attention or, 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 or focus a little bit 
on on sailing over here just so we can cross over to uh Caraca, I suppose, is the uh, name of this province. Uh, my current goal was to take conquest and then imperial power because that does give us a little bit of fame. Uh, and then maybe we'll turn our attention to sailing. Uh, we might stick to that original plan uh, because I would like to get some more fame racking up. We're missing out on some golden opportunities like having the first vassal, like uh, getting to certain um, objectives first. Like we are missing on some of these uh, opportunities and I'd like to I'd like to stop missing out on said opportunities. Anyway, uh, back up top over here. Let's go ahead and get these guys moving in as well. I was tempted to, as I was saying earlier, burn down Aldenab and uh, and and request it. Um, rather, sorry, burn down Aldenab and and establish our own outpost up over here rather than demand it after the war is done. But uh, truth be told, I think I would rather uh, go in and, uh, and and demand it after the war is done. I don't think it'll end up being all that expensive. The other thing I can hope for is that as we apply pressure to Parsa, for example, uh, we might see their armies come down from Aldenab and we might send our uh, our horses over here up to uh, to deal with the um, with the outpost instead. I'm sure once this chariot's out of the way, we'll be able to go up. Uh, a more regular path. I suppose I could... Why can't I? Oh, right, because we're blocking our own selves. Okay, why don't we go ahead down over here so that next turn, if this chariot doesn't move anywhere, we still have some uh, some movement available. We've got the uh, granary going on over here, or as I sometimes like to say, granary. So just a, I don't know, I, I, st I still am not sure if there's only one correct way to pronounce it, I'll be honest with you. But uh, I've been reminded, or it's been suggested to me that uh, you store grains in it, so it's a granary. You don't store uh, grandmas in it, in which case it would be a granary, uh, which is a hilarious way of putting it. The Scythians over here are actually, they're a peaceful people. I don't think I need any more uh, mercenaries or anything. I can't even hire these guys, actually, but uh, just good to know that there is maybe another peaceful, independent people somewhere out over here. Well, we'll see what comes of it. And actually, on the topic of seeing what comes of things, this is still a concern for me. The stability at Hattusa is a bit of a bit of a problem. Uh, I have received a couple of suggestions with regards to, oh, you know, we can put units in here and, and, and help increase stability that way. Many of you have been suggesting, oh, we should look into trade. We have looked into trade, unfortunately, um, of all the people that we can trade with, uh, of which there aren't that many. They don't have uh, luxury resources available. Um, even, uh, I'm fairly certain, we don't need to have a trade luxuries um, deal to be able to see what uh, what items they have available. Um, but, uh, but it does look like they have basically nothing available from uh, from the diplomacy screen. Hopefully we'll be able to recover uh, Hattusa's stability sooner rather than later. I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned. <laughs> Mohenjo-daro is not having a good time either, apparently. Mutinous in Mohenjo-daro, that is not ideal. At least we've unlocked an agrarian star over here. Again, like I was saying before, uh, last session, we're very close to entering the next era, but we're not going to rush it this time. This time we're going to spend some time. We're going to get some of those extra uh, fame points, some of those extra era stars to make sure that we're not in, uh, you know, that we're not falling behind still. Let's go ahead and minimize the uh, not notification bar down over here. This will be done next turn, 15 stability. All right, we'll be, we'll be looking good. Fantastic. Over here in two turns, we'll get this done. Uh, I can't afford that. And slowly trickling down, eh? Slowly trickling down. Um, still trending towards that zero. Once this is done, in again, two turns up over here, uh, that'll bump us up by plus 10. And I could then add on to it the city watch, which would give us another plus five. And that'll take, it looks like three turns to build. It says turns before completion is three. Um, so well, hopefully we'll be able to recover quickly enough. I'm a little worried, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to recover quickly enough because I don't want to divert any of my soldiers back there. I want to have a quick war with... Um, with the uh, Persians here, and then I want to be able to uh, move on. This is very frustrating. Why you got to block my, uh, my my moves like this? I, I guess I could go up this way. I mean, otherwise we're staying put, and that seems rather, you know, useless. Uh, I could... Nope, I can't even get involved in this battle. If we do dive in over here, do we drag anybody in with us? Um, let's see. Who comes in with us? Not even our uh, riders back there. And that's fine. These guys will probably actually retreat. It's just the one unit of Assyrian raiders, so they'll probably actually retreat. But we can't come down here thanks to our... Uh, these fools. Actually, hang on. Are we able to assimilate you just quite yet? Oh. Ooh. Yes. We can. But I don't... It's... Hmm. 75 influence. It's not bad. I say we do it. I say we do it. 75 influence, it's, it's basically all of our influence. And yes, being over the city cap is hurting this influence game ever, uh, gain Sorry, ever so slightly. Um, we will we will take a look at uh, some of those technologies or, or civics that give us another city cap when it starts to become a bit more um, 
you know, destructive to our influence. I think we're okay right now being slightly over the limit. So why don't we go ahead and, yeah, start the assimilation over here. We've been talking about it for so very long. The time has finally come for the, uh, the, the Norte Chico. Channeling the mighty snow melt from nearby mountains, the Norte Chico are masters at irrigation and use this mastery to build the impressive city of Horikanga. Well, they're masters at irrigation. Our, uh, our forefathers were masters at irrigation as well. I feel like we definitely do get along quite nicely. And they'll be a welcome addition to our uh, growing civilization. You have assimilated an independent people. Every culture, greater or lesser, is a building block in a civilization. I like it. I like it a lot. And you know what, actually, <laughs> this has become a bit of an emergency now, hasn't it? Now we're at a, at a bit of a problem point because uh, now we're, we're, we're well over our city cap. I can burn down a city. Um, I can do that if I want to. How, how would we ever recover from this huge drop in influence? I mean, wow, we would, uh, we would never be able to activate a new uh, civic unless it gets uh, given to us, I guess, by... Uh, by uh through osmosis you know like last time um hmm. <laughs> that you know what i i uh in my in my rush to free up my units in, in towards the uh, towards the persians i've uh kind of shot myself in the foot over here philosophy will take three turns oh man that is that is a little worrying what else gives us plus one city cap so there are some civics out there, theology, but that's not until the next era. And we're not even scientists, so that we can't even look into the next era. We can't even research anything from the next era until we're actually in the next era. Scientists are able to do that as one of their, um, as one of their unique um, uh, uh, abilities. Well, this is going to be very interesting. We'll see how this plays out. You know what? I've, uh, I've made the decision. It's time to live with it. Let's go ahead and pull you guys uh, down over here. These guys are definitely going to retreat. Let's go ahead and pull you guys down over here. And I could send these guys up over here to scout it out. Not that I'll have enough influence to, to put an outpost down there anyway, so, you know, keep that in mind as well. Down over here, definitely don't have enough gold for those Samnaya, not just quite yet. These guys are going to retreat though, right? Yeah. Yeah, we saw that coming. Let's, let's be real, we saw that coming. Down over here, what can we do? Let's go ahead and build the uh, Pottery Workshop. Let's try and counteract some of that lost uh, influence, right? Let's get that Pottery Workshop going on. Stability is looking fine over here, at least there's that. We have some spears and we have some chariots and warriors. We can afford the upgrade to Swordsman, but I don't think I'm in a rush to do that. Let's go ahead and push these guys back once more, and I think we'll actually be able to auto-resolve this one. This is a nice spot for the city as well. Oh, and it's quite nice. It actually maintains its uh, original uh, aesthetic. I didn't realize that before, but it does retain its original aesthetic. Great. Let's strike at them. We'll auto-resolve this one. Finally, an auto-resolve battle. Victory is ours. One step closer to another militarist star if we don't already have all of them. Oh, we do. <laughs> so many wars. I mean, what can you expect? What can you expect? Um, all right, this is good. We can send our uh, scouts a bit further along just to see what's going on. Oh, would you look at that. We could draw this uh, battle here. Do I want to? In a way, it's a it's beneficial because these guys have already used up all their movement. So I would speed myself up a little bit because we would be uh, taking advantage of the fact that we've already moved. You know what I mean? Did we lose a unit here because of this battle? Are you for real? Man, come on. Come on, are you for real? You can't trust the AI. You can't trust the AI. I don't think I can look back at... Uh, now that I've closed the notification, I don't think I can look back at it. Anyway, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Uh, let's go ahead and, yeah, uh, engage these guys. What are they? Just the Assyrian Raiders and then one unit of Warriors. We should be fine. This battle will be how large? These guys are just out of reach. That's fine. We have spears up over here. Uh, we can pull back into safety. We can hold the line up over here. In fact, even we've got archers with us as well, right? Quite a few of them. Yeah, let's go for it. And again, so the... Yeah, ah, cowards. <laughs> of course, I shouldn't be surprised. But the idea was that these guys had already moved, and rather than move them, or not be able to move them next turn because we get drawn into a battle, I would rather have that battle happen right now, or, as the case ended up being, not happen. Alright, let's go ahead and end the turn here and see what, uh, what this does to us. We are very quickly losing influence right now. It's going to be effort to gain it back. It's going to be some serious effort to gain it back. Once we get, once we get the, um, once we get Mount Everest back, that'll be helpful. That plus five influence, sure. Uh, but you know, it's, it's not happening anytime too soon. I'm a little, I'm a little worried. I'm a little concerned. A little bit. 
push these guys up. Let's push these guys up as well. Try and get this into a, a one full stack over here. And I guess I might as well... I would like to send the scouts moving forward, you know, but... Kind of like packed in over here, I guess. I'm going to add you there. Do we want to strike over here? They are going to retreat almost certainly. Um, and we... No, we can't. We have to cross the river as well. All right, why don't we go ahead and, 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 and do what we can here. Force them back from over here, just so we're taking a step forward as well. Send them packing. Let's go. Oh, they can't retreat. Okay, excellent. Uh, in that case, let's go ahead and... You know, I hate to do this, but we're going to do this manually. I don't want to lose these spears. Let's pull these guys back over here. Let's pull these guys back over here as well. Bring these guys back over here. This should be an easy fight. They have just the one unit. Got our spears over here. Archers. Archers. Let's get you back over here, actually. There we go. This should be nice and easy. Nice and easy. Come on now. Let's begin. Oh, down over there, of course. Not a problem. We should still be able to finish them off. Where are we? These guys, let's pull you up to here. Got that high ground advantage. Should have a clear line of sight as well. Nope, apparently not. Fair enough. Still, fair bit of damage. Let's go. Fire away. Stuff. These guys. And fire from there. Where are my other archers? These guys over here. Just a bit too far away. Seems to be. Go ahead from uh, here then. We'll fire away again. They're the veterans, so I want to have them firing first just to cause more damage sooner. Hopefully they'll end up with, uh, uh, you know, damaged or heavily damaged before melee gets involved. That's the ideal. I don't think it's going to actually happen here, but that's the, the, the angle. Try and at least get them to damaged. Oh, man. Really not doing too hot there. They have the uh, fortification over here that's helping them out. Can we come in from over here? No, we can't come in from up there. We can, however, take the flag. So let's at least do that with our spears. Got these archers over here as well. Can pull them back at the high ground. And, yep, fire away. A little concerned about how these uh, chariots and stuff will fare against these uh, raiders. Or how these uh, these horsemen will, 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 will do, actually. Can't get in there. Not with our uh, riders, at least. Send you in. Oh, that's not too bad. These spears? Ah, just, 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 just can't get in there. Just can't get in there. Uh, all right, that's fine. Let's uh, let's go ahead and send these guys up here. Let's send these guys, I think, uh, up here. Keep our weakest units at the back. And this should give us an adjacency bonus, if I'm not mistaken. Minus from Crossing River is unfortunate, yes, but I think we'll be okay. Go for it. Beautiful. And that way, now when they come to strike, they'll be pretty badly uh, hurt. I think they won't... Uh, they might not even try it. Send these guys up, just so we can apply more pressure if need be, but we can end the round over here. And, and if they step forth and they charge in... Wow, they actually uh, <laughs> didn't die. I thought that was going to go a lot more in my favor than it did, but it's okay. They have some reinforcements coming in, though, it looks like. Yeah, they have some reinforcements coming in. Oh, it's just some scouts. I'm not even remotely concerned. Let's give these uh, spears the glory. No, let's not take any damage if we don't have to. Let's go ahead and fire over here with these archers. Finish them off. There we go. Beautiful. Victory's ours. Love it. How is this war doing, actually? Quite well. Quite well. In a, in a couple of turns, it'll be uh, it'll be over. We won't. We might not even have to step foot uh, in, in, in Persian territory. What's going on over here? Are you interested? This? From you? Could be interesting. Sure, why not? If they want to buy stuff from us, that's okay. We can make some money off of them. Yeah, sure, I will accept this. My people will profit from this proposal. We accept. Spectacular. Oh. Truly spectacular. I stand corrected. I thought you could always see what luxuries uh, the uh, op opposing party has available as well. Uh, I don't know if this was recently changed or if it was just... I always just happened to have that information... And, uh, and didn't realize, because previously in, in like previous builds or, or maybe in just in previous games, I've been so lucky that everyone always wants to do a, uh, uh, a trade luxuries deal with me. But hey, I stand corrected. And what is this? I've got myself Thief. I should go around ransacking. Huh, what do you know? Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and buy some of these, uh, these trade resources then. We have money, right? And uh, we definitely don't have stability. So why don't we go ahead and, yeah, buy some of these luxury resources. Glad that uh, worked out for me. Let's go ahead and get ourselves 
let's see, marble is good for our uh, industry as well. Good for food with sage. Silver will help science. Oh, you know what? I think I think science. I think I think silver for sure. If we can afford it. Kind of pricey, isn't it? Die eighty one. Okay, I'm thinking about the science because I would like to have. Um, I would like to have the, uh, the 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 city cap increase sooner rather than later, right? <laughs> Just to help us a little bit over here. Um, the Sumnaya might have to wait. You know what? I think it will. I think the Sumnaya has to wait. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some silver. Of course, it is an expensive material. By C, yes, please. And the dye as well, or perhaps uh, marble. A first trade link. So many interesting questions arise. Barter or currency? Exchange rates? Tolls and taxes to fill your coffers. I'm wondering if uh, we need more than just that. I don't think we can afford anything else, can we? Oops, not you. Not you, but you. Can we afford dye, no marble, no salt, nothing, nothing. Too broke. All right, fair enough. That's okay, we'll have enough money soon enough. What's going on over here? Harappa, let's go ahead and over here as well. Get, uh, do we not have... Um, I guess we don't. I was wondering if we could get like more pottery or something going, but we already have that done. Fair enough. Fair enough. Why don't we go ahead and pursue what then? Uh, food is looking all right over here. We could pursue maybe the forge plus five industry per copper. And I do believe we have two here, right? We have the one over there. Oh, we just have, yeah, two. So that's actually pretty beneficial. I don't think we need more units, not so urgently. And we've done this stupa over here. I don't think I... Oh, I guess I could get another one soon. I could also, again, chasing... Um, chasing science and, and fame, I could get this mausoleum going, actually. It would probably not be a bad idea. Uh, and I did spot a couple of nice uh, locations for it. This is nice. I, I like that, you know, sort of cliff view. Uh, down over here. Hmm. This is also quite nice, the cliff view, and it's closer to Harappa. You actually get the view from Harappa and stuff. So sure, you know what, why don't we do that? Why don't we go ahead and put it down over here? Got a nice view. Uh, 51 turns it'll take, but we will be assigning more cities. In fact, uh, we'll give it some time. We'll, we'll assign some more cities and it'll it'll speed up in, in, in no time. I'm sure we'll, it'll take like 10 to 20 turns instead. All right, and meanwhile, Mohenjo Daro, your stability is going up, so that's excellent. I could actually assign you. Uh, to the mausoleum, but I think I want to get the uh, pottery workshop going first. Never have I so desperately built pottery workshops. Never have I seen influence be uh, <laughs> drained. I've never seen negative influence. First time for everything, I suppose, right? First time for everything. Let's end our turn there. People see it as a place of safety and a symbol of power. Only your friends know of the extensive wine cellar. Is, it, is that in with regards to the... Uh, our little garrison over here? I suppose so. Scientist Star has been earned. Excellent. Seven turns to get to Imperial Power, and then we can double back and get, uh, what was it? Um, philosophy. Three turns. So ten turns. Man, I don't think we can wait that long. I'll be honest with you. I think I have to take a chance over here and focus on philosophy rather than Imperial Power. Now, what we could do, what we could do is we could... Um, well, over here, we definitely need to build this instead because this stability is still looking terrible. Uh, Mohenjo-daro, can we get more people as scientists? I don't think it'll speed us up that much. Let's try it. Let's try it. What if we do this? Oh yeah, two turns. That's not bad. It is It is an increase. What about down at Harappa? We are almost maxed out on scientists. Let's go ahead and get uh, you. Sure. You know, it's marginal, but I'll, I'll take it. Though that does affect our growth rate, doesn't it? So why don't we go ahead and pull somebody from production instead? Yikes, that's a huge change. All right, fine. Listen, we'll leave it be as is then. Two turns is two turns. But, but I need this uh, huge drop to stop happening. Uh, what's the deal over here? The wisdom of others. Does it have anything to do with not losing influence? Your merchants trek the world, reaching great markets in far climes and selling your highly prized natural riches for much coin. Conversely, your empire sees many traders from distant lands visit our plazas with their goods, their wit, and their provocative ideas. When their knowledge contradicts the wisdom of your elders, it raises the question of who you should trust. Knowledge authorities. This is an interesting one. Uh, this is an interesting one. I, 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 I think what would be most fitting? I feel like foreign innovations is not out of the question for the Indian subcontinent. I mean, uh, I think all I need to point towards is like the Indo-Corinthian, I believe, pillar to, to be a clear example of, of, of how 
local and foreign mingling happened um not just you know in, in this era but in 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 plenty of eras uh and as far as trade is concerned i mean let's not forget about the um the war elephants that were given to the uh uh, Seleucid? Seleucid? Sel is it a hard sea? I think it's a hard sea. Seleucid uh, 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 um, 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 a Empire, right? Um, like there's there's that kind of trade is happening often. It, it, elders wisdom or foreign innovations? I'm not sure. Either way, we can't afford it right now, so let's not even let's not dwell over it to, uh, <laughs> for too long right now. Uh, it's something to think about. I think either could actually make sense. It's something to think about. Mayans have a special interest in this place. I imagine they are purchasing it from us then. I imagine they are purchasing it, purchasing it from us. What's going on? Real world deed locked? No, we've been beaten. We've been beaten to the world wonder as well. God damn! This is what I mean. Like there, there are only so many opportunities to acquire uh, extra fame, and I feel like I'm letting them all skip past me. Though it does look like we've gained a rank over here. That's a little up arrow there, I think. Um, so that's uh, that's promising at least. We'll see what we can do over here. Uh, uh, get another victory is what it seems like. These guys are. Bring these guys down over here. I have some spears. I have some riders. I've got these spears back over here as well. Do I want to invest in healing them? 36 apiece, and that way I don't have to worry too much about all these uh, all these riders, right? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, and heal these guys up. Sure, fine. I don't think we're going to get uh, the war elephants anytime too soon. So I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll bite the bullet here. I'll bite the bullet here. Now, do we want to come in from here, or do we want to come in from up over here? We can't get up there, okay? These guys will be stuck in as well, unfortunately. I was hoping to get this uh, high ground over here, but I don't think we can get around these guys to actually take advantage of it, unfortunately. Fair enough. If we dive in, all of these armies will get involved, and then we have basically the same deployment. And then Parsa, of course, has the uh, the benefit of, um, of the fortification. If we go up like this... We could spread out up over there. We'd have this pass down over here. If we come in from here, meanwhile, we'd of course have this pass. They'd have the high ground up north there, but I think this is probably the better angle to come in from. All right, fine. Before we get into that, though, I just want to check. Uh, so negative 42 per turn now. That's an improvement. That's an improvement. Uh, why don't we go ahead and uh, help with this, I think. Might be the best call. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Let's go ahead and help with the um, with the mausoleum. I'll now take 33 turns. See, that's like a huge, huge difference. Up over here, Mohanjo Daro, almost done. I mean, it'll make a, the most marginal of differences, uh, but I'll, I'll take what I can get right now. Two turns, it'll make a much bigger difference. The, the science will make a much, much bigker difference. All right, back over here. Let's go ahead and get this uh, battle started. Pull you guys up. Dive in. I mean, they might actually retreat. There it is. It's not bad, actually. Do I chase after them? I think they're probably going to be up over there. Well, looks like they are. There's our confirmation. Uh, I say we go for it. For Do it. Empire. Finish these guys off. If we actually win this war without having to put uh, anything under siege, that'd be pretty priceless. Manual battle. I do not trust the AI over here. Uh, we got spears up top there. Yeah, spears over here as well. Please chariot back over there. These scouts, let's keep them back over here. Uh, they do have some warriors back there. We've got our archers back over here. Let's get some spears up over here as well, please. Again, trying to hold this line. Unfor oh, you know what? Actually, I don't think they can get up over there. This looks like too steep a climb. So I don't think they'll be able to climb up there. We should be safe. Uh, maybe I can get some archers up there. That would be ideal. Where are my other archers? They're all in here, aren't they? Yeah, the higher quality archers are all in there. That's fine, though. It'll give a chance for these guys to gain some veterancy. These guys are the weakest because of their because of the river crossing but otherwise i think we're uh, okay i wonder if i should send these guys up over here instead send these guys over here so they can come around and maybe flank um flank these guys sure let's try it we go first mm, that cavalry is going to come around the bend isn't it almost certainly almost certainly all right let's fire away at these assyrian raiders Come on now, I need more damage than that. I need much more damage than that. Okay, a little bit better. Go ahead and pull out some of these uh, veteran archers. Unfortunately, we're going to have to get these guys involved. From up over here, we can try to fire. It's not We're not going to have like the uh, advantage, the high ground advantage or anything, but let's get some damage onto these uh, warriors here. Kind of wish I had swords up there instead. 
swords are, are, are stronger than spears. Uh, let's go ahead and pull these guys out as well. Over to here. We'll fire away. Again, just do whatever damage we can right now. Soften them up, right? And I'm kind of worried about sending my scouts over. Because I feel like we'll get uh, we'll get rushed, surrounded by those uh, by the by the horses and, and, and rushed and, and destroyed. Sorry for that edit there. Blaring sirens outside. Wanted to edit that out, obviously. Let's go ahead and get these spears in here to Parsa, actually. We can get these warriors up here dealing with the or our, our swordsmen up here dealing with these warriors. Or these warriors as well. These are warriors as well. Damn. Not 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 exactly what I was hoping for. But what about the chariot coming through here with a charge? There we go. Let's do that instead. Beautiful. Let's go in. Get a fair bit of damage done over there. These guys will probably be pretty hesitant to push in anywhere. Uh, but the spear's up over here. Go ahead and attack from the high ground. Yeah, let's go for it. Come on now. There we go. That's good damage. These guys finish them off or just go into defensive mode. What about these swords? I mean, since we've already got these units coming through, might as well get everybody coming out. All right, let's pull you up to here. And let's pull you. We'll see. We'll see if we can't send these guys up a little bit past the river just to explore what's going on. And let's go ahead and pull you... I mean, I know they've got something up there. I imagine it's the runner, right? Ah, what's life without risks? Let's go for it. I do love how big these battlefields can get, though. Like, look at how massive this battlefield is. Now, this will hold back that reinforcement, right? These reinforcements can no longer uh, show up in this battle because of that move there. I'll keep you in defensive stance. Let's go ahead and get you out over here to where. And I... Okay, I guess I can't really move you that far. Sure, let's move you up to here. As far as you can go, let's, let's send you as far as you can go. And that's our turn done. Let's see what these guys get up to. It's a long battle too. Four turns potentially, this battle. Uh, it's not going to last that long. We're going to finish them off much sooner than that. Well done by the spears. Excellent. Here they come over here. Good stuff, good stuff. Some movement up over there. Probably chasing after these horses. Yeah, that's going to hurt. Oh, we're actually fine. That that was a lot better than I expected. These guys coming up against the spears over here. I think we'll do okay. Yeah, well, that was not too bad. All right, not too bad at all. Oh no, that's less good. Still hanging in there, still hanging in there. Uh, we can go ahead and strike at these scouts. They're not causing us too much trouble though. We can go in. No, unfortunately we can't. I wonder if, I wonder if these archers finish these guys off. Might be just a little too short. Let's pull back to here just so we're not uh, suffering the river crossing penalty as well. Pull over to here. I don't think that's going to be enough. Let's try it. Come on, baby, please. Let's go. Come on. Yes. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping that that allows us to... Sorry, folks. Sirens for days over here. More edits. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm ho I was hoping that would allow me to, to go further. But no, this river is going to slow us down. I could go in and at least capture their flag here. Uh, how much damage could we do over here? Oh, we might be able to finish them off actually like that. Let's get these uh, veteran archers to fire up over here. Soften these guys up. Finish them off with the spears. And then we'll send uh, maybe some spears to pick this, uh, pick this up instead. Are you for real? That's all the damage you could do there? All right. It's fine. It's fine. It's enough. It's enough. Finish the job. Excellent. Get these spears up over here. I feel like they're better equipped to kind of hold the line and all that. Right? Let's get these chariots coming up. I guess, yeah, to the to the river. We can't go down this way, unfortunately. We could potentially, uh, we could potentially do this. Let's see. These guys can uh, come up this way. These guys, these guys should be able to, oh, they might get blocked by this, uh, the, the river, though. Unless, hmm. All right, fine. Let's uh, let's let's go ahead and send you up this way. Let's go ahead and send you up over here. Let's go for it. Get a bit of damage there. Let's try and get these veteran archers. I can't get far enough to hit those guys, but uh, we can go ahead up to here. Sure. Let's try and finish those guys off. Fire away. Come on now. We actually have triple veteran archers. I'm <laughs> quite pleased. They're doing all right. They're not. They're not doing amazingly. They're doing all right. They're doing well enough. I uh, can't send these guys anywhere. All right. Bring these guys up. It highlights. Oh no no, no okay. 
it's, it's like it's highlighting it if I was able to move these guys over here. Nothing I can do about that. All right, fair enough. Let's go ahead and pull these guys up over here. Let's pull you guys up over here. Sure, we'll, we'll close the gap slowly but surely. These guys are in a touch of trouble. I do wonder if I want to get out of here, you know, uh, because right now we're, we're suffering the uh, the harassment of these of these riders over here, these raiders, I should say. Um, I don't want to lose this unit if I don't have to, you know. And, and what am I doing? Just to, just to protect uh, or just to prevent a scout from spawning into this battle? Is that really worth it? I don't know. Uh, excellent. Good. What I was hoping for. I was hoping they get distracted by some of these units down over here, especially with us having their flag now. Especially with us having their flag now. Looking good, though. I There's got there's one more unit, right? Where is it is the question. Uh, let's go ahead and pull you over to here, sure. Fire from over here. Get a fair bit of damage, I think. Go for it. Soften them up. Send these guys to fire in as well. Let's go. Come on. I gotta speed up these animations. I think I'll do that between this session and the next one is speed up the uh, the battle animations. A little a little slow right now. A little slow right now. Come on now. Finish them off. And these spears will do the job, I think. Just wrapping it up. Oh, come on. Don't lie to me. Don't tell me they're gonna survive. There we go. Beautiful. Victory? No. There is a unit out there. No! Victory is ours! Okay, I, I could I, I thought I saw that unit die, but I wasn't sure why it would have died. Nonetheless, a victory is ours. I will happily take that. No units lost for us. Too bad we have maxed out our uh, our militarist stars, eh? Yeah, they're suspicious. Let us see what is possible. Fair enough. You have Mercury as well, which will help with science and stability, of course, but science will be okay. We'll be okay. What's this, uh, what's this looking like next turn? We should have our victory. And again, we'll get that plus five from Mount Everest and uh, a vassal, I'm thinking. Hopefully we have enough uh, war support or war score to get a vassal. We have Civics Osmosis over here. Oh, no, 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 no. No. God damn. We can't afford to use our... Uh, can we? Yeah, we, we, we can't do our cultural blitz. We don't have the money. Um, oh, man, this is going to hurt. I mean, we're already headed towards a zero... A hard zero over here. We're going to refuse this. This is the army composition pushing us from our professional army to conscripts. Not a chance. Hatusa, I'm surprised there hasn't been a rebellion here yet. There will be one soon, though. Almost certainly. Almost certainly. We're definitely hitting zero. I don't think we'll be bouncing back from that anytime too soon. Yikes. Big yikes. All right, what's going on over here? An envious eye. Your deeds are legendary. You have founded great cities, seen them rise up from the dust. You have raised great armies, led them to glorious victories. You have claimed the riches of the earth and overseen their transformation into instruments of great beauty and power. Across the world, all speak your name with awe or fear. And yet, and yet, there is another who is more legendary, more worshipped, more dreaded. The leader of the O. Oh, Standing in their long shadow, you burn with envy. What is to be done? Interesting. I've uh, I've never seen this event. I've never seen this event. I wonder if it's because of our negative influence or something. But uh, what is to be done? And who 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 is this leader that we envy? Demonize. The world might know elsewise, but your own people will see Olmecs in a different, darker light. Sacrificing, reducing food, but also reducing the cost of recruiting units. Okay. Imitate the royal grounds and wardrobe will be cast in Olmec's fearsome image. The citizens will be nervous, giving us overproductive on Harappa. Okay. Sculpt. Every city, every plaza in the empire will be blessed with a striking sculpture of your likeness. Giving us celebrating. Plus tense. Oh, we could definitely use the stability. It would also potentially trigger another narrative event. I am going to go with sculpting. And this is actually tapping into another uh, or one of the uh, historical elements that we've touched on previously, which were the uh, the capitals of Ashoka. Now, it's not exactly the same. Those weren't erected for any, um, they weren't for, 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 for glory or, or out of vain or anything like that. But the idea of, of, of again, having something across the entire uh, extent of our empire, uh, especially something sculptural, I, I think makes the most sense over here. Uh, imitate, I was kind of tempted by, imitate Again, another reference from earlier, just touching on the Indo-Corinthian thing and borrowing elements and and, and things like that from from cultures of of, of traders and all that. Uh, that is that is tempting, but no, I think we're going to go with sculpt. 
I think Sculpt makes the most sense. Again, this is all up for debate always. I think Sculpt makes the most sense. It's going to take us into debt. We're going to be in two different kinds of debt <laughs> at the same time. But that's okay. You got to spend money and apparently influence as well to make both, right? Every city, every plaza in the Empire will be blessed with a striking sculpture of your likeness. Beautiful. Being bankrupt is not good. It does affect, um, well, everything. This is good, though. At least the, despite the uh, recent events, we're seeing an increase in stability over here. That's that's actually really good. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Um, and then in, in three turns, we'll see an even faster increase, I think. Well, not I think, but I know. Let's go ahead and end the turn over here, though. All right. All right. All right. This is this is this is all this is all very good. This is not close to victory, but victory itself. Hey, really, you're gonna try this? What do I have to gain from winning this battle? What do I have to gain from winning this battle? Not much. Just hurt them, right? We've already won this war. We're not. There's nothing to gain from it. Uh, there's nothing to gain from it. I would like to have Aldanab and your. Oh no. We actually don't have enough war score to uh, to make them our vassals. Damn. And that's because they are just too large of an empire. If memory serves me right, the way vassalage works now is uh, the cost of making the uh, target a vassal is based on the size of that target. So because they're just too large of an, of an empire, uh, we were not able to make them vassals right away. So you have to actually chip away at them to make them vassals. All right, fair enough, fair enough. We're definitely, we're definitely making our money back, right? So we're not going to be in debt for too long. Uh, we definitely want Aldana back. Thank you. What else do we have over here? What else do we have that we could take? Um, all right, so that's Aldanab. Talitha up over there. Do I want Talitha? Is there any value up there? I don't think so. Um, anything else that we have? Oh, I Al Siokat? Yikes. <laughs> Can't say any of these. Uh, it's just like taking land for the purpose of taking land, right? I mean, I, I guess this place has been developed a little bit. It will hurt uh, Parsa. Gina. Gina is what? This one? That'll give us access to the salt over here. And Talitha. What is... Oh, I think there's an actual city over here, so we can't take that. Talitha, I don't think I care for. Gina. So, Aldanab. Uh, Alsiaukat. And Gina gives us all of this. That's a huge increase in holdings. That gives us the uh, benefits, of course, to stability and all that from uh, the salt. It gives us the Himalayas and Mount Everest specifically, helping our stability a bit as well. It does give us a nice connected border. Uh, it gives us less money, though, because, of course, more of that's been converted into uh, territorial gains. And I think I'm okay with that. Do I want Talitha as well? What do I have to gain from getting Talitha? I feel like it's just going to... Uh, just overextend me, you know? I think I'd rather have the money. I think I'd rather have the money, and then we can get the Samnaya, yeah, we can get those war elephants, and when the time comes to declare war on the uh, Persians again, hopefully we can then vassalize them. That's too bad. But hey, we got beaten to the punch for the fame anyway, so I'm not too upset about it. Uh, in fact, I quite like this change. I quite like that it's harder to, to get vassals. Those uh, Samnaya yeah, will first see action, though, I guess, against the uh, Celts. And we'll we'll complete our conquest of the uh, the subcontinent. All right, fair enough. So Aldanab, Alciokut, and Gina. So Gina, Alciokut. I don't know how to say that at all. If anybody has any ideas, feel free to share. And uh, Aldanab for sure. Yeah. Okay. And of course reparations. Dang. All right. Fair enough. Force the surrender. Let's uh, let's go for it. Victory is ours yet again. We thank you. We almost feel kinship with you. I think we have waded through enough blood. Kinship? I mean, I understand we're ideologically similar, but kinship is... Uh... Be careful now. Let's be careful now. I will not be connecting... Well, I won't be attaching anything to anywhere anytime soon because of our influence situation. But uh, I do believe... Mount Everest is, yes, giving us that plus five. Just by having the, the territory claimed, uh, that's good enough. That's good enough. So that's that's good and helpful. And once our, our science is done, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll start recovering. Okay, this is good. This is good. A draw over here. Excuse me. This was a victory. We won the war. Thank you very much. We can go ahead and pull back from this and start dealing with the Celts soon, I think. 
Uh, let's well, let's do exactly that. Let's pull back. And, and the reason why I want to deal with the Celts sooner rather than later is because we have these mercenaries. Oh, right. They're not mercenaries anymore. Now they're just ours. Wonderful. Manjadaro, stability is improving. Excellent. Let's go ahead and help with the mausoleum, I suppose. Or do we want to help with... If we get everybody working on the mausoleum right now, it'll be done in 24 turns. Feels a little bit, a little bit like overkill, doesn't it? Feels a little bit like stagnation. I wonder if we shouldn't focus on, say, for example, uh, the granary instead. Maybe not that. Maybe we should focus on the uh, House of Scribes instead. Plus one science per researcher. We're stacked on researchers over here. Maybe not a bad idea. Maybe not a bad idea. I don't think we need to recruit any more units. I think our army is... Uh, or armies, plural, are strong enough. Um, sure, let's go ahead and uh, and chase the... Palisades. I know, I didn't even bring that up at first, but uh, the more I think about it, the more I realize that might not be a bad idea in case when war with the Celts comes, they decide to come in from the north. I want to make sure I'm prepared for that. Hattusa has walls already. It's got its um, palisades. Um, if they're, I, I doubt Babylon is uh, is where all their units are, you know. I'm pretty sure they're going to be coming in from the north if they if they come in towards us, and I want to have those walls ready for that, uh, for that exact scenario. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. There is our city cap. Come on now. <laughs> Take that negative 25 away. Uh, I'm, I'm a hoping with Mount Everest and with some of the buildings we've built, I'm hoping that the rate of recovery is, is faster than the rate of loss was. There we go. Plus 85. In one turn, we'll be back at it. Philosophy researched. We can now build research quarters as well. And of course, schools too, which is excellent. But yes, that city cap is most definitely what I was chasing. Now, hopefully, we can very quickly get Imperial Power here in six turns and uh, beat whoever else might be chasing it. We've got a few... There, there's some competition. There's some potential for competition, so hopefully we get there first. I can, of course, always get more people focusing on, on science, but I don't think it's going to make enough of a difference. But what's going on over here? Fields of plenty. Hark! Your empire is a land of plenty. Your city is a quiltwork of farms and small holdings that feed your hungry and ambitious people. While new methods of the age bring huge grain silos into your employ, transforming the farming landscape. As the sector scales up, you must now ask yourself if it is time the state ran the empire's farms. Industrial production, okay. Do we go with nationalized industry for extra farmer slots on cities or outposts per farmer's quarter or privatized industries for extra trader slots uh, with market quarters? Again, we don't have the influence to, to spend right now, but uh, I feel like the... Uh, state-run farming is more fitting. Um, I feel like that's a more appropriate decision if memory serves me right again. I, 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 need to, I need to do a bit of research actually on that front. I'm not sure historically what was uh, expected or the norm or however you want to put it. Do you really are, you really... are we really doing this? Are we really doing this? They waited until I retreated before uh, engaging. You know what? We'll pull back. We'll retreat. I, I have no... Uh, uh, I have settled. Fix it. Good friends are oh, so few. Now there is one less. Oh, these guys are ready. These guys are almost ready for war all over again. Six grievances triggered because I conquered all this territory. They have uh, they have all these grievances. I I completely missed that. That's uh, they're basically ready for war already. And and meanwhile, we're just like. <laughs> Pleased with our victory. Now this is concerning. They have their demand going over here as well, asking for Horikanga down over here. They're obviously not going to get that. Question is, do I do I try to do what we did previously, where we push our demand and 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 see if that works? If they call our bluff and try and increase our war support that way, because this is very dangerous. See, if they declare war on us and we lose even a single battle, um, they'll immediately win the war, and then they can do what we did to them, right? That's a very scary situation to be in. I don't like it. And it makes me a little hesitant with regards to moving my uh, my troops around over here. Okay, that's a little concerning. I like it. <laughs> I like it from a gameplay perspective. I hate it from a from a <laughs> from a threat perspective. That's his turn done. Wow. There it is. There it is. They did not hesitate. They did not wait. A war support of 42 versus R4. We need to win some battles right away before uh, anything too harsh happens here. Now, fortunately, we should be able to take Parsa basically immediately. 
<laughs> okay, this is how it is, I guess. This is how it is. All right, we've got the money to upgrade these guys to uh, to, to, to some Naya, right? Let's go ahead and move you up to here. What's going on over here? Something's going on over here. Ah, there it is. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, that's okay. If I dive into this siege... Oh, you know what? They've, they've triggered this battle. I shouldn't be surprised. Should have seen that coming. It's not the end of the world. But I would have liked to have taken Parsa right away. All right, let's, uh, let's dive into it. I thought that was going to be the end of fighting for at least a little while, but uh, I guess not. What are we up against? Just the one ra raider here? Okay, let's try something here. Um, manual battle. Bear with me here, folks. Manual battle. Spears up there. Swords up here. Archers, sorry, spears up here instead, actually. Swords down here. Okay, look at these archers up over here. Unfortunately, we've got the uh, river crossing there. Archers back there. Chariot over here. Again, I, I suspect they're going to come up over here and, and, and ruin the party, but... That'll be fine. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Pop you up there. All right, that's our deployment. Yeah, no surprise there. They've got the high ground advantage there, unfortunately, but I think we still did a fair bit of damage. Good stuff. Archers and spears will finish this guy off in no time. Fire away. Good stuff. Get you guys firing as well. I'm trying to minimize the damage we take in melee, of course. And I believe next up is... Hmm. Any preference? I think either way we're basically seeing the same uh, kind of end result. So let's go for you. Finish them off. And now to Parsa, hopefully, if uh, I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we have these guys. Because these guys were not actually used in this battle, they're still able to move. Um... And I, the question is, will I drag these guys in? Concern is I won't drag these guys in, and that's where our major archers are. I think we'll probably still be okay. I think we'll probably still be okay. Let's go ahead and upgrade these warriors to swordsmen, right? We'll, we'll still be able to uh, afford the uh, Samneya upgrades. Let's go ahead and move in a little bit. Cannot be done by a retreating army. These guys are not retreating, though. What do you, what do you, what do you want about? They're not retreating. Nonetheless, at least we've uh, won that one battle. This is dangerous. These guys are a little out of it. Like, out of position. Not a fan of that. We have another battle somewhere? Up over here. Okay, interesting. This is why I really want to get those uh, <laughs> Palisades up. Not just, I guess, from the Celts, but threats from the uh, the, the Persians as well. Alright, we'll, we'll deal with that in a moment. Hattusa over here. Stability is looking good. Okay, excellent. Why don't we go ahead and build what? Let's go ahead and get ourselves... Uh, we're looking pretty good overall. Uh, let's go ahead and build ourselves... Blood Irrigation, would it have any real value? I mean, yeah, I guess it would. Got a few rivers over here. Let's start with the uh, Granary. Then we'll get the Flood Irrigation going. And then we'll, we'll, we'll come back afterwards and, and see what else needs uh, needs doing. We need growth across the, across the board over here. In fact, what about the Agrarian Stars? What are we looking at? Yeah, we need growth. Get those uh, stars as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, over here... This will be interesting. Make it a manual battle. We outnumber them, sure, but... Uh... Oh. Great. Okay. Are they about to, like, surprise us in some way? Are they up to some sneaky trick or something? End the round. We're going to stay defensive over here. I have no reason to, to try anything foolish. Yeah, not going to risk that. Not going to risk running out against a bunch of chariots with a couple of levies. Good stuff. This is this, this is this is just get, getting us another victory here. Good stuff. End the turn here. We'll see what happens down over here next. There it is. Now, fortunately, our reinforcements are right there. Holy crap! Two hundred and twenty-four. Are you kidding me? Oh, this could be. This is dangerous. This is trouble. This is serious trouble. Up over here, let's go ahead and get this victory first before we potentially take that defeat. And the round here? That's really scary. I'm not sure if we're going to win that one. Even with our reinforcements arriving, I'm not sure we're going to win that one. This one's a guaranteed victory. Wasting our time. Trying to tire us out, the Persians. Trying to tire us out. 
There we go. Good stuff. What are we looking at here? Okay. Even if we lose that battle, we'll be okay because we've we've got us enough war support to keep us going over here. But you can see, I mean, I can't believe I called it. I did not expect, I did not expect this as much as I like described it. I did not expect this. And would you look at that, man? These uh these Persians have really come around a long way to try and strike at everything of ours. They're actually coming towards Hattusa as well. Now, fortunately, again over here we have uh, we have uh, walls and all as well. But like, geez, okay. Uh, not ideal, not ideal. So, we could definitely send these guys in. A couple spears. Oh, okay, what is this battle? What are we up against? Ah, oh, there we go. The Immortals are here. Oh, no. Oh, no. We have to deny them the high ground. Bastion stacks on top of high ground buffs. I believe Bastion is plus 5. High ground is plus 4. So that is plus 9, if memory serves me right. That is terrifying. This is a terrifying army already, and the reinforcements include more raiders. Wow, one, two, three, four more raiders and two more warriors. Okay. Okay, so when we dive in with reinforcements over here, we will be able to back up a little bit, and we'd be able to take the high ground, right? We'd be able to take the high ground over here. Uh, they would be forced to fight us either on level ground or from the low ground, which is ideal. Uh, we'd hopefully be able to drag this battle on for two turns because these guys are not able to dive in in one turn. They can, I think, only get to one, two, three, four, up to here this turn, right? So we have to survive one turn um, so that we can get both of our reinforcements. So we're definitely going to be taking losses here. Now, even though uh, even though these guys will be late to arrive, they will be arriving with two war elephants because I will be able to upgrade both of these guys. I don't want to do it until we're closer. Um... And that should turn the battle around, but uh, but yeah, we do have to survive uh, those those two rounds. We do have to survive those two rounds. Everybody else has been given their uh, their orders. We got 29 turns until the uh, mausoleum is built. Four turns until that's built. Two turns until you're done over here. Yeah, I guess we uh, I guess we dive into this battle. This is insane. This is insane. This war is insane. I can't believe it's already started. But folks, it's not going to end today. This is actually what we're going to call it a session. It's always nice to have a bit of a cliffhanger from time to time, right? And since this is the Sunday episode, I guess the next episode isn't until Wednesday. So it's an extra long wait until the next episode, too. Wow. <laughs> I try not to be cruel about cliffhangers, but sometimes, sometimes, uh, they just uh, end up working out that way. Folks, we're going to see uh, come Wednesday how this plays out. And then Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, that's our episode schedule, right? Trying to actually stick to it now, and uh, and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll come out on top. Even if we lose this battle, the war won't be lost. But if we lose this battle, that's basically our entire army. All of our armies just gone in an instant. I'm a little terrified. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know down below by leaving a like and a comment. As always, it makes a very big difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, how I go about doing it. I always appreciate the storytelling, the excellent writing, the uh, feedback, the um, you know words of encouragement, and uh, the shared uh, concern about our situation from time to time. Well, on that note, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.